Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line. Makes a ding sound in Windows for some reason because that was not the active window when he went to play. Fuck, scrap it! Start it over again. Now we're playing as Kane. Uh, last Maggie run, one of the most powerful runs we've ever had. Kind of out of nowhere. 7 XML, 9 LTD. Let's do it. I'm hoping LTD stands for, uh, lifetime dollars. This would be a great run to get lifetime dollars on. And I'm not talking about the kind of dollars you earn over the course of one's entire life. I'm talking about the kind of dollars you earn for being part of one of Lifetime Channel's original movies. You know, it's like the Hallmark Channel. They pay big bucks. Monster Manual. This is a very exciting item to start with. You might think otherwise. You would be absolutely correct. I'm trying to be silly for some reason. I don't know why. I'm just in a silly mood. I'll talk about all sorts of st silly stuff today. Like, what's up with insurance deductibles? I didn't get in an accident or anything recently. It's just been on my mind. Um, you know what? At two cents, I'm going to start shooting poop. Because we have a small rock potentially locked inside of this tinted rock over here. And I would like to free it if it's at all possible. Alright, that went extremely well. Let's head down and see where our boss is. The haunt, and Monster Manuel pays out with a RoboBaby 2.0. I gotta admit that RoboBaby 2.0 2.0 might be exactly what we uh, need right now. Watch out for big haunts. We only have 2 HP, so you gotta be a little cautious about this. But, like, I'm thinking RoboBaby 2.0, like, stacked on this line might be super easy to kill the haunt with. All we have to do is make sure that we choose good times to cross. That was almost a really bad time to cross. But as long as we keep ourselves, like, as far away from the haunt as possible, RoboBaby 2.0 actually proves to be a pretty nice companion for that fight. I'm sorry, uh, Monster Manual. I will never insult you again until, you know, literally the next time we encounter you, which is probably going to be in a couple of rooms here. Want to keep exploring? Again, like, a single bomb drop would be enough to maybe get some spirit arts to protect our deal with the devil interest for the next floor. That's good. Uh, we'll, we'll wait until we're done with this to... done with the floor, I should say, to fully take advantage of this. I'm happy we got the HP upgrade. That gives us a little bit more leverage on our next deal with the devil. It's not, like, an immediate huge help like a DPS upgrade would be, but a little bit more of a slow burn. And this will sort out our bomb-related issues for the time being. Honestly, Wrath is easy enough that I don't even feel like it's worth using Monster Man well. We might as well save it for a big room. Maybe we get a super lucky, like, little brimstone or something like that. Uh, never mind, because we're gonna get Mr. Boom instead, which is... Arguably better? I think it is arguable. Some people might say, uh, that it's a guarantee, but... I don't, ne I don't necessarily agree with this. We got one Spirit Heart. I'm gonna save Mr. Boom. I'm not gonna go to our shop, although I really would like, like, the chance to get an arcade on the next floor. So maybe we will just very quickly do this. I mean, it respawns every two rooms. We also found the secret room out of that, so if this gives us an arcade, I'll consider this uh, a happy kind of medium for us. I'll blow this up as well. And we, I didn't think we could get that guy, actually. Let's take this pill on this floor just in case it's amnesia. Pretty fly. Fantastic. Alright, I'd say that all worked out relatively well. Um, we are out of bombs, but we have Mr. Boom, so no we're not. And uh, we can start the build on this, I think. We have a Spirit Heart, which will protect us nicely on this floor. And we are lucky enough to be on the basement. And we did get an arcade, so... All of a sudden, this feels like it was probably the right course of action for us to take. And we know we're going to have a deal with the Devil on this floor, unless something goes terribly, terribly wrong. I'm going to avoid taking this for now, just in case it's like hematemesis. Of course, if it's bad trip, it's going to be real fucked up. I hate being right all the time. <laughs> Thank you, okay. I'm gonna hedge my bets there. Or I'm gonna, you know, um, I'm gonna stop pressing my luck there, is I guess what I meant to say. Um, this way, I actually have a spirit heart protecting us in the future, which is nice. And we know the bad trip is out there. If we get another bad trip pill, we could totally use it as a full health and maybe get something out of that blood bank. But for now, I'm just pretty stoked that we didn't ruin our deal with the devil chances with the bad trip pill. Or, you know, alternatively, get closer to killing ourselves. So we're going to play this guy a little bit longer. I would like to get to 15 cents. We're at 12, and a really good opportunity, obviously, at 12, to hit 15 on a donation machine, considering we have bombs and Mr. Boom. Should be using Mr. Boom every other room, but there's no real reason to use it here. You know, the odds of us finding a crawl space, very low. Might as well use it for combat or for blowing up a tinted rock. And then we get Book of Shadows. Book of Shadows is way better than Mr. Boom. I, like, it's not even debatable. 
It's got a slightly lower or slightly longer charge time, but it also has uh, like incredible impacts here. So I will be more than happy to take this with us. First, we'll use it to try to get something out of this blood bank. Probably could have played it once more, but we are up to like 24, 23 cents. So uh, I'm not going to sweat it too much. Might as well, like, once on this floor, use Mr. Boom to try to find a, a secret room or something like that, but it's largely irrelevant. You know what? Uh, I think that I'd like to stop switching spacebar items now. If you want to give me some passive items, uh, that would be nice. Something I could actually take with me, you know? No no single spacebar item is going to win us the game short of maybe, in a roundabout way, like the D100 or D4. Possibly red candle or blue candle, I guess, as well. I would like it if you would come up this way, um, but that's going to take too long, so I'd like it more if you would just die, Mr. Bond, and we will blow you up, Small Rock. That's fantastic. All right, well, if you just ask for things, they come true. Uh, Mom's Key. Oh, you really believed for a second there, didn't you? I did, too. All right, Champion Belts. Ups our damage, get to save a little bit of money. Uh, we have another Tinted Rock there. We could go back and get Mr. Boom take advantage of it that way. I think we probably will end up doing that, because I would like Spirit Hearts so I can handle the Golden Chest right now. I'm really happy that I use Book of Shadows on this room. Like, we probably will not have it back for our boss fight, but this room is probably harder than the boss fights that we can have left over on the basement. Barring, maybe, like, Larry Jr. being a real asshole. We'll see, though. Uh, yeah, very good. Burn Penny is going to help us out a lot. And makes me feel a lot better about uh, getting rid of Mr. Boom. We should be getting bombs back quite regularly now. That is not going to do it. <laughs> Interesting. Regular version of Monstro. Well, not regular, but champion version of Monstro. It's not Monstro 2, I guess, is what I'm getting at here. Our damage is going to be decent, but more importantly, we have this deal with the devil coming up here. And I am very, very excited to see how this works out for us. Because if we get, like, just a little bit more damage stacked on top of this one, I'm feeling like this is amazing so far. This is a pretty good cane start. More HP than usual. Good consumables. Good, uh... Good trinket. Good space bar item. Super bandage is fantastic. We might not want to take it yet, just in case we could, you know, get down to, like, zero HP here. Um, we can't. So this is not going to give us deal with the devil precedent. Please, God. Lump of coal. I really do not want another space bar item. That's so unfortunate. We just got to make sure we take the right one out, though. Okay, that was a little scary. The good thing about having so much HP is that we have a lot of HP. I'm not sure if you've noticed. The bad thing about having this much HP is that, unfortunately, it's a symptom of us not being able to get our deal with the... Don't talk to me. It's a symptom of us not being able to get our deal with the devil, which is very disappointing to me. Uh, but... Maybe we can just have a high HP build, or maybe we can go, you know, full deal with the Angel or something like that here. For now, I am going to, uh, might as well Book of Shadows it to begin with. No reason to go lower on HP than we need to. This will give us uh, a lot of bombs back, hopefully, that we'll be able to use for Tinted Rocks and whatnot. I would actually love to just stack up, like, a lot of bombs right now, so I'm going to go all the way down to half a heart here. Also helps out our financial situation, of course. Less troll bombs would be better for us, but that's okay. And we're up to eight bombs now, and we should be able to get most of our HP back on the walk here. So I feel like this is a pretty good decision. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, that's pretty much what it comes down to for me. I'm relatively happy with this. We can play the Judgment, uh, so we will play the Judgment. And we might be able to find a second secret room as well. It's a decent amount of HP, and we got two bombs back out of that. Judgment could give us HP, and then we can get an, uh, an Eternal Heart from our second secret room, and then... I don't even know. We'll be at, like, the HP cap with nothing to spend it on. But maybe I'd rather have just a mapping item here if you're interested in uh, paying out with one. Mystery Sack. I, I don't hate it. I'm, I'm relatively happy to have it, I guess. Second secret room could be here, then. I'm going to keep looking. If it's not there. It could be, like, in line with this one. It's not there. It could be in line with this one. All right, now my resolve is tested, and we will just head down to the next floor, because this is bullshit, man. Uh, I'm feeling good, though. I think we should be, be feeling good, honestly. We have had stronger runs than this, but uh, it's feeling pretty solid. Might as well, right? Why not? Two extra spirit arts is good. I was a little anxious about going into this curse room, because we had Curse of the Unknown. 
but we might as well go through with it now. Losing one Spirit Art doesn't really matter that much. We only lost half of one here, so we know we're going to be bare minimum, like, at the same amount of HP that we were when we came down to this floor, and we had at least four or five Spirit Hearts backing us up there, so uh, I can feel pretty good about that. Plus, we'd expect Red Hearts to drop from time to time. Kind of par for the course. So now I'm hoping, you know, just give me a full deal with the Angel Run, because this deal with the Devil Run, it couldn't handle me in my worst, so it doesn't deserve me in my best, you know? They, they chose to give me Krampus's head. What am I going to do with Krampus's head? I've already got Book of Shadows. Instead, we'll get, uh, you know, Godhead, Sacred Heart, Relic, Miter. Obviously, we probably can't get all these. Dead Dove. Trinity Shield. I don't know. Work with me here. I'm trying to make someone jealous. And that someone is uh, Satan himself. So we got our... We got our work cut out of us. Or cut out for us here. I don't understand what... I should have picked that up first, obviously. But it's not a huge problem. I don't understand what that means. We got our work cut out for us. What does this mean? Like... Like, you're, you're gluing something onto a piece of paper, but someone has already cut it out? Or is it something to do... Like, it sounds weirdly like it could be a farming term. Like, oh, you got your work cut out for you. Like, we cut out the route into the cornfield, and then you have to go get the corn. I don't understand. Is there an idiom dictionary somewhere I could look into? That could be good. That's not very good. That's not adequate compensation, but at least it's something. You know... It's like someone put broken glass in our meal, and they were like, well, we'll give you, like, a free mozzarella sticks. You'd be like, well, I do like mozzarella sticks. It kind of pales in comparison to the severity of the offense, but at least you're, the manager's doing something, you know? He's got to think about the, the health of TGI Fridays as well, the organization, you know? Can't just be handing out free mozzarella sticks to everybody. I've only eaten at a TGI Fridays once in my entire life. This is a strange story. Um... In a way. The only time I've ever eaten at a TGI Fridays before in my life was in Japan at an amusement park. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. It's been a while. There was a TGI Fridays in Universe, like in the pavilion where Universal Studios Osaka is. And uh, my wife Kate was like, let's eat TGI Fridays. It's delicious. And I was like, I've heard some really not delicious things about TGI Fridays. Not that I'm trying to look down on. I'm just like, you know. We're in Japan as well, but you know, happy wife, happy life. We ate at TGI Fridays. It was okay, but the bill was literally like maybe eighty dollars for two people to eat, and we did not have like a, a an enormous feast or something like that. Oh, that was very stupid of me. Basically, what I'm getting at is that it's, it's really expensive. Actually, when I lived in Korea, occasionally I would go to the local Outback Steakhouse in case somebody was like desperately craving a hamburger and, and needed it. And it would be like $20 for an entree. And you're like, man, that is not <laughs> conducive to, to these wages right now. So if you're ever in Osaka, Japan, I would recommend probably not going to the TGI Fridays unless you have the budget necessary, necessary to support it. And if you do, even still, man, you could probably find something better. But I do resent it when people are like, you were in Japan and you went to TGI Fridays? Yeah, we were there for like two weeks, man. We, we ate a lot of... Traditional Japanese food, literally like every meal except for the TGI Fridays meal. So don't don't sweat it too much. We had our share of sushi and izakaya and you know delicious ramen and and whatnot. Some omakase. I'm just saying. I would not recommend the TGI Fridays on a personal level, but that's your prerogative. If you decide that that's something that's very important to you, by all means, don't let me get you down. We're definitely going to take the orbital here instead of uh, Pageant Boy. I'm an enormous uh, ball of anger over the fact that we still do not have any items, basically, from any of these deals. Um, but we are lucky enough to have Book of Shadows Orbital, which means that pretty much I can just stand right next to enemies that I dislike and end their lives post-haste. We haven't been... Oh, we have been to our shop on this floor, so I'm just going to get the heck out of Dodge. I'm annoyed with this floor, but we might have Deal with the Devil precedent now. And of course, by Deal with the Devil, I mean Deal with the Angel. <laughs> Why didn't you think of that? Nothing. Possibly something really good. Suicide King. Justice. We'll use Justice right away. Cricket's Head. I think... No. We already have that? Empress. High Priestess, I think, beats Empress. Suicide King is, of course, something I'll take. I'd like to shelter it, if possible, behind our other uh, card, so I don't accidentally use it. Um, but Suicide King does have some interesting kind of possibilities. If we can get some reroll, or not reroll, sorry, but some respawn items, and then use it on, like, the chest, gives you another three or four items that's really useful. Especially if we're on the verge of, or, like, we're on the cusp of, of either winning or not winning. Um, it, it could swing things in our balance, or in, in a balance that we like here. 
not really too interested in going for uh, that room back there that had a bunch of consumables surrounded by spikes. Hopefully, maybe we just get the ability to fly on this floor and then we can get it for free without having to waste our Book of Shadows charge. Why not? There's a lot of reasons. I don't need to hear them. <laughs> Uh, I realized, by the way, that I had said I don't want to waste our Book of Shadows charge, and then I'm wasting it by not using it. Look, this is just gonna you know, trademark Northern Lionness. You gotta, you gotta accept it. All right. One day, perhaps I'll change, but it probably won't be two day. Lots of bombs, at least. Like I'm happy with the way this room turned out. A little scared about Bob's brain because we don't have Pyromaniac, and you know, enemies are gonna be getting up in our grill at all times. But as long as we babysit it properly, we should be fine. I guess it's really bad to have Bob's brain and Cursed Eye in conjunction with one another, but whatever. I also like to live dangerously. I don't know. It was my Michael Caine playing Austin Powers, which he sort of did in a way. He played Nigel Powers, if you recall, from the classic uh, 2003 era film Goldmember. But of course I say, do you recall? Of course you recall. The most wonderful reindeer of all. And died. Rudolph the red nose reindeer. Out of very shiny nose. I don't know, it's it's going nowhere. One of these days I'll learn that people are just humoring me and telling me that impression is not as bad as it actually is. Okay, 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 okay. Good stuff, not who I meant to hit, but it did hit somebody. Probably could afford to get rid of Oh, this room. It's very interesting. Uh probably could afford to get rid of uh Burnt Penny now if we wanted to. What was our other trinket back there? Forget what it was, but I remember being like, eh, that's not so bad. I want to kill this guy over the gap if we can. Makes my life easier. So it is on hard mode. It's just a room I haven't seen very often. Oh my god. Okay, fine. We'll take the tears up shot speed down. And finally, we get an actual item. We'll drop High Priestess on this mother trucker. Should take him out pretty quickly. Uh, not as quickly as I would have liked, but that's fine. Wafer's gonna half our damage, which... Have, I guess, our damage, which is really nice for us. And we're starting to build, like, a defensively winning run here. And I'm starting to feel like we might be making the deal with the Devil a little bit jealous now that we've actually picked up something from our deal with the Angel. This should finish our key piece. Now, if we could get deals with the Devil for the rest of the game, that would be even better for me. And we have seen Item Room and Shop again, so I'll tell you what, we're gonna head down to the next floor. I know we're skipping a couple rooms. It's because I'm mad a little. Oh, mad one, we've seen your trap. Submit with honor to a duel. Uh, I mean, Whipworm actually seem. Oh, wow, that's two runs in a row with Proptosis. Somebody up there likes us. Um, I may actually want to take Whipworm now that we have uh, Blue Cap and Proptosis. I forgot we can still shoot with Book of Shadows active. Um, the reason I say that is because. Our shots will travel further faster, which will give us maybe a little bit of a prolonged damage bonus. Like the damage bonus from Proptosis will be prolonged. We also had some shot speed downgrades uh, from Blue Cap. So if we can get shot speed upgrades that compensate for those, that could be very valuable. This is only Depths 1, right? Yeah. Things are going to start moving fast now, but there's no way we're going to make Boss Rush unless, you know, we get two Emperor cards or something. Miracles do happen sometimes, but uh, this is going to be one of those runs, at least the way it looks right now, is it's going to be uh, fast after we pick up Proptosis. I didn't even realize that you were still alive there. It's going to be fast now, but it's going to be slow in the early game. There's no way we can take that back. Oh, that was a huge miss. Now, uh, what would I like to see? I would like to see piercing shots, because as of right now, our shots are great. Don't get me wrong, they're fantastic. Let's try this. Ugh. Not a huge fan, honestly. Um, our shots are fantastic. I would just like to see them actually traveling through enemies instead of stopping, you know, when they hit one. We could get much better utility out of it for that. But let's see if we get a deal here. I would desire one. Deal with the devil for higher damage. Another deal with the angel. I think Torn Photo is our choice here, so that's a great pickup for us, don't get me wrong. There's no point to fighting the angel statue, I think, but we'll do it anyway because, you know, I'm already here. I want to see how our damage looks after Proptosis as well. Now, I think this will be like our last angel as well. I don't think it'll give us anything on a pedestal. 
We might get a consumable for finishing it, but that, that's about it. Um, cool, let's go play Demon Judgment and we'll hope for... I mean, I guess I'll take anything. I'll take any syringe that he could give me or contract from below. But um, the big one is going to be growth hormones. Contract from below is fine, though. I'm, I'm not salty about that at all. Everything's pretty much coming at Millhouse here. And this is like some trademark Northern Lion luck on, on full display. I would not uh, hesitate to, to accept that. We also got lucky that Demon Judgment paid out so quickly. Like, saved us a lot of time. Not that the time was necessary, but... Algis, two of hearts, death, emperor. I'm gonna take the emperor, and I'm still gonna stick with Suicide King. I know that's mean, or that means we're not gonna have Algis, but uh, I think the idea of this Suicide King card could be a lot of fun if we manage to take it down to the the chest, or even use it on a room prior to that if we if we have the uh, ability to do so. That was very stupid of me. Um, yeah, I, I like this. Two of diamonds, we might as well take. I'm a little paranoid that I'm gonna take Suicide King by accident, but. Hopefully that doesn't come to fruition. I was positive Bob's brain was going to hit me there. Two troll bombs. Again, like we could have used Book of Shadows there, but I feel like at this point I have the luxury of being able to use Book of Shadows to basically just speed up rooms I hate. So I'd rather take like one Spirit Heart of Damage on a curse room and then use Book of Shadows to like skip an angel fight or something like that. Why not, right? We'll use Anti-Grav. If we ran as fast as we possibly could, we might be able to pop this Emperor card just before Boss Rush ends, but there's no way we're beating Mom in time, so... I think instead we'll hang on to this Emperor card, explore the entirety of the next floor, hoping for, like, a, a Judas's Shadow, honestly. Like, if we could somehow pick up Judas's Shadow, I know we have a really high likelihood of getting deals with the Angel instead of deals with the Devil, probably, but, uh... I would, uh, I would desire this if we could get it. I don't really want the Ace of Spades. I know we have starter deck, but I'm happy with Whipworm. It seems to be helping us out quite a lot here. Hmm. I don't know why I'm thinking so much about strategy in a situation like this. It doesn't seem, like, super relevant. When we're probably going to have a win right under our feet anyway. I was super excited to finally have a chance to use Fanny Pack. And then it just, like, immediately was like, No, you're good, man. Get out of here. Also, have you noticed? Oh, it's because I have Cursed Eye. Anti-Grav actually doesn't do anything for us. I think. It, it probably still gives us the tears upgrade. Maybe it's a good thing, you know, we get the bonus of Anti-Grav without the penalty. I forgot that we had Cursed Eye. Well, we could totally have used Cursed Eye to just teleport out of the boss rush room then. I didn't even think about that. Yera Rune Temperance card. Um... I mean, I really like the Emperor card. I think we have to go with the Yara Rune, because it's just like the be-all, end-all, right? I continue to try to use Fanny Pack, and it just <laughs> never, never stops failing me. Oh, I thought that was going to get all five for a second. That's okay. We should be so lucky. This should be a really, really easy finish here, to the point where I'm like, I'm, I'm floundering when I'm trying to st find stuff to talk about, because I'm like, I, I, I mean, it's a weird run. We have Cursed Eye and Bob's Brain, and yet we're completely shitting on the game, basically. The game should have no chance to come back here. I'm not even bothering, really, looking for Tinted Rocks. This would be a great chance for us to donate, if possible. We have good cards. We got another chance at the Emperor card. I'm kind of tempted to take two Emperor cards. That would really speed things up. Um, and we have a Joker card. Well, are we still going to stick with Suicide King? Like, I think it makes sense to stick with Suicide King. Um... Maybe we'll use Joker right now. Get Celtic Cross, okay. I mean, we're probably going to get a deal with the Devil anyway. But, you know, why not at least use that one kind of guilt-free, I suppose. Uh, and we'll look for our item room over here. Didn't work out quite the way I anticipated. That's okay. Well, Yara Rune means that uh, if we can find a blank card at some point, I'd really desire the opportunity to make use of it. But we're probably not going to. You can find it in, like... Where did we find Blank Card last time that was weird? I thought we found it in like a golden chest on the cathedral or something like that, but that might be, um, you know, me misremembering to a, an extraordinary deal. Although that would be an extraordinary deal, let's be honest here. Um, try to skip by this room on the left if we can. It might not let us out, actually. Depends if that's like a special room on the left side, I think. Nope, no worries. Number one, sure. I mean, we've had this two runs in a row. It's going to completely screw with our range, but it's also going to allow us to, like, tap fire 100 shots at the same time. So I'm pretty 
excited about this. And really, at this point, I gotta admit, I'm, I'm already starting to look forward to that Judas run. I'm already starting to look forward to the chest on this run. We still need some kind of, you know, survivability or like respawn ability to use the Suicide King card. But Suicide King shows up so rarely that I'm like, I have to, I have to try, right? I've used it to good effect before in the past, but uh, it's not the past anymore. You know, the past is a grotesque animal. Uh, almost done. Just land Bob's brain far away from you, please, and that should do it. Another deal with the angel. We don't need to fight the angel statue. We are going to fight Mega Satan on this run, so we should prepare for that. But I'm, I'm still hoping for like a Lazarus Rags pickup or something like that so we can use this Suicide King. Apart from that, we know Yara is going to be useful for us. And we have the keys necessary to get, uh, to get paid out of it. So I'm excited about that. Two troll bombs. Probably not worth picking up if I had to use my uh, sarcastic voice to say something obvious. We've really gotten like an incredible amount of uh, of good luck on this run. I seriously can't believe we've had Proptosis twice in a row. Even number one twice in a row, I'm like relatively fond of. A lot of people think number one is a shit item because of the range penalty. There have been runs where I, you know, would agree with you that it has fucked me a little bit, but uh, on this run right here, I'm having a great time. And uh, last run, it helped us out by allowing us to fire like 500 Ipecac shots in relatively quick succession, so I can't be mad at that either. I can't believe that these uh, gurglings here don't die in one shot. Like, that's one barrage, I guess I should say. That very much surprises me. Since we have the wafer, uh, like, that's not a huge cost. I also feel like with this Tinted Rock here, we should probably play this Demon Judgment. We should probably play the real Judgment as well. But I'm pretty sure Demon Judgment's going to pay out first. And maybe with the Fanny Pack, we can get some nice payouts here. Also, Celtic Cross. Like, we can't stay away from Invincibility. As much as sometimes I might like to. He's already paid out. That is uh, missing page two. I don't know if there's any way I can get into this Judgment without him blowing up from the other Bomb Rock. But, oh, we managed to make it work. Lucky us. It's gotten to the point where I'm not even using Book of Shadows anymore unless I want to use my Orbital. Not that there's anything strictly wrong with that. And we get another HP upgrade. Why not, right? I mean, there's actually a good reason. <laughs> we have, uh, we're at the HP cap already. That's that's a relatively good reason to not continue using uh, HP upgrades. But still, you know, I'm happy to have the red hearts. And that's quite a lot of money that we'll probably never be able to use. Never be able to take full advantage of, let's put it that way. It sounds better that way. You can still land Bob's brain in Book of Shadows. That's what I like about Book of Shadows is when you have, like, some recourse... To, to still do damage when you're invincible, unlike a uh, unicorn stump or something like that, where you just walk into enemies and kind of hope that you've got, I guess, ramming speed or something like that. Don't teleport me, you son of a bitch. Magic mushroom, no question. No deal with the devil on this floor. That bums me out, but uh, it is what it is. We're getting close to using this Yara rune, hopefully close to being able to use Suicide King as well, so I don't feel like as much of an idiot, but uh, the all stats upgrade right off the bat is so good. You can already tell, like, how fast I'm going relative to how fast I was going earlier. Um, our speed has definitely, you know, benefited here. Well, we got an opportunity to use Book of Shadows and then get another battery charge right after if we want, but, like, that's already distant in the rearview mirror. I don't know how we got... Like, I, I can't slow down. I can't go back and get that chest. Because my, my body is just, like... It's moving forward with such momentum. I'm worried that if I slow down or turn around in another direction, the, the change in momentum could cause, like, uh, brain damage or something like that. And I don't have that much left to damage at this point, I think. That room annoyed the good Christ out of me. What do we have over here? I'm not even, like, waiting for full charges on uh, Cursed Eye anymore, just because usually two or three shots is enough to finish the job. And if you are annoyed that I am skipping those consumables, I gotta admit, I feel your pain. I can understand how that would be annoying, but it's not annoying to me. So I'm just gonna keep, uh, you know, living my life going, da 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 you can, you can deal with your own neuroses, I'll deal with my own neuroses, and Lord knows I've got a few. Um, should be able to take out Mom's heart very easily here. Probably squandered a lot of this per, uh, invincibility from Book of Shadows here. Should have just gone to town right away, but oh well. Pretty important we don't get hit without a full charge here. I don't want to teleport 
and have to do like 30% more of the floor and then come back and do the rest of this fight that we already did. Don't really want to fight like our fifth angel statue of the game for no reason. I don't even know if it gives us angel statues or at that point after we've already fought three or if it just gives us nothing. It might give us nothing. Well, this is like my favorite floor to have Curse of the Blind on because it's basically uh, meaningless. Unless we got Curse of the Blind on a floor that just gave us Brimstone or something. That's also fine as far as I'm concerned. Sure, let's uh, let's use the Strength card to cost us a Black card. That seems like a really smooth move, WarioWare. I was like waiting to, for the next room for a conversational thread to appear naturally, but Monstro 2 held out a lot longer than I would have expected. Gotta admit, still don't have uh, any means with which to use the Suicide King card. Uh, we could try to use it with Broken Ankh back there. There's a 25% chance to come back to life. It's uh, ballsy, that's one way to put it. Not very smart would probably be another way that some people might use to describe that. Uh, I'm not gonna do it. Because I, I do like playing absurdly, but I don't like just like laughing in the face of math and probability, right? Like playing absurdly, if you if your own personal skill can compensate for it, that's one thing. Playing absurdly when it's like, well, it's a dice roll, that's more like, you know, I, I don't have control in any way over how that dice roll works out for us, so it makes me a little bit more uncomfortable. Keep forgetting that with uh, Book of Shadows active, we can still fire. It's one of the things that gives it a huge advantage over Unicorn Stump. Although Unicorn Stump is a lot better if you have, like, Celtic Cross, not Celtic Cross, uh, Midas Touch. One of those items. Uh, we could use another Spirit Heart or, you know, Golden Chests either way. Going in completely the wrong direction. Just don't forget to use this Yara Rune. It's the one thing that I'll, I will beat myself up over, is if, uh, I make a stupid mistake. Forget to use this Yara Rune. Even, with, like, with Contrary From Below, we might get double chest payouts, but, uh, I'd rather... Yara rune four chests than a double chest. I mean, that's just like basic arithmetic, I think. We're probably pretty unlikely to require these keys. Why am I using my Book of Shadows on the Loki fight? Because I find the Loki kind of annoying. The way they move around. The sounds that come out of their bodies, etc, etc. Just gross. Instead, if we can finish them off easily, that's better for me. We could bomb our way out of the rooms we don't like as well. Like this one, for example, I'm not the world's biggest fan of. Because of the fact that he can hit me without me having much recourse to dodge it. But we are fine here. We got Book of Shadows ready for the next fight. We got Book of Shadows ready for this room. Alright, let's uh, try to go to town on him here. We should be able to finish this off relatively easily. If we can even get him just to the next phase on Book of Shadows... Life's good as far as I'm concerned. That's perfect. Now all we have to do is make sure that we don't take incredibly dumb damage and we should be completely good to go. I would like to stand a little closer because we have Proptosis, so... Um, you know, standing close gives us an advantage, but we need to do the Bob's Brain babysit thing first. I think on the next wave, if we get super close, we can probably make it work. Oh, we got him. Alright, so it's Yara Rune time. We could fight Mega Satan right away. I probably would like to fight Mega Satan right away, to be honest with you. I wish I could find a way to make Suicide King worthwhile, though. Yara Rune, don't forget. Alright, what a, just a textbook run here. Triple Shot, I like it. Infestation 2, incredible. Sad Bombs, amazing. Nod Leaf, potentially incredible. Um, but not that necessary for us right now. Cricket's Head, oh my god. This is a, a great haul. I don't want technology, I think. I'll take everything else. Oh, perfect, the message on Skype. Just in time to be a little annoying. Alright. Um, yeah, I like this. I don't think we need technology to go along with this. I would like Book of Shadows, but so be it. If ifs and buts were candies and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas, right? Now, a big thing for us is going to be not teleporting away. Easier said than done. We had, yeah, this is what I was hoping for, is the idea that we would, like, kill uh, the enemies so quickly, and, and like, hurt uh, Mega Satan so quickly that we won't really have to worry about taking too much damage, because he's not going to get too many chances to actually, like, do real attacks. And even if we do get hit, all we have to do is uh, make sure that we have a full charge and then we won't teleport. It's a good opportunity for us to build up some spiders. Yeah, this is a very, very potent run that we've got here. It does suck that we didn't get a chance to make Su- oh my god, that was so fast. It does suck that we didn't get a chance to make Suicide King work, but hey, them's the brakes, I guess. We should try using some sad bombs in here just for 
you know, ma maximum impact. Like, what was that? He didn't even do... Oh, wait. He summoned Lust, apparently, there. I didn't even notice. We kind of broke his sequence there. That happens sometimes when you fight Mega Satan, if you get super lucky. Or basically not super lucky. Basically, if you just have, like, incredibly high damage. We did take damage there. Full charge, because these shots could hurt us. I don't know how we snuck through there. My brain was working overtime. Not quite done yet. There we go. Great run, great run. So we're looking at uh, Judas next to stretch our streak. We're getting close to getting around the horn. Well, no, we're not. We're getting close to getting around the halfway point. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.